Welcome to my first video and let me tell you about the challenge that we've got for this complete game series. It's my intention to compile a, a bunch of videos, a playlist of videos of me playing the Ark on a solo with maximum difficulty settings. I am going to do a separate video by the way about um, the difficulty settings but we've put it up to max difficulty level settings and we're also playing with no mods. Um, oh, I'm going to miss, it's been a long time since I've played without mods, I'm going to miss them. But um, yeah, we're going to play without mods. This is more relevant as well to the Xbox and PlayStation gamers out there who like this game. So nothing that I'm doing in here, you can't do yourselves. So we're going to need a lot to complete this game. And the challenge is going to be we need to find 10 artifacts. We've got to free, free, the, free of the bosses and then finally we get to defeat the, the Overseer, the last boss, and we need to be a level 100 to do that. So, and we're going to have to do that uh, entirely solo, so that's... It, it's going to take quite a bit to do. <laughs> so, um, I, hope, uh, I hope you enjoy the challenge. Now, I'm not just going to... This is not going to be um, a fast completionist um, series uh, by any by any means it's going to be there's going to be quite a lot going into this so I don't know how many videos it's going to take me to get through um, but there's there's a lot to cover and we're, we're just getting started we haven't got any tames yet and okay uh, let's just get some flint and uh, I can create uh, the pick firstly for this episode what I want to do is I need to get to level 16 in order to make a raft and being that we've got the whole island to ourselves and I've never had that before that means we can set up anywhere I'm gonna set up the first base we're gonna set up a couple of bases around the island one for one near the mine for mining eventually and we're gonna to have to have a taming pen set up somewhere around where there's some T-Rexes and what um, and that sort of stuff but we need first of all um, I want to set up a base and I want to set up on Herbie Island because there's a little bit of metal on Herbie Island there's plenty of hide and of course there's nothing there to kill us so I don't need to put any walls up or anything like that probably don't need to around here so what we're going to do is we're just going to get a few levels up gather some resources I'm going to head across the, the river in a second and um, we're going to head for um, a little survivor note that will give us a XP buff just to give us a little bit of a level boost. So now we haven't got any XP buffs at all or any anything other than the resources have been turned. The resource respawn rate has been turned up. Now I've experimented quite a bit before playing this and one thing uh, I noticed is when you log off obviously when it's um, not on a server you can't leave a load of metal in the forge and come back and have it all done so it really can make it quite tedious if you can't log out and and do stuff so we're gonna have to, we've, we've had to turn turn some rates up um, especially for sort of the foot for the respawn rates the dinosaur rates all the taming processes have also been turned up a little bit but there will be a separate video if it should be up if not with this one it'll be up shortly after this one um, I want to do something a little bit more detailed for anybody who wants to do single player settings on arc um, for the for the settings that I'm running but for anyone who wants to copy the settings that there's going to be a separate video for that now it's not going to be a speed run of how to do it quick because there's no way we could do this quick and I do like the building aspect of Ark as well so you know I want to have a nice place to do it in so I'm not just going to place a load of boxes down um, so that's going to take me a little bit extra we may get lost in some stuff there might be some tames I grab that I don't necessarily need but I might just grab them anyway it's been it's been a while so I'm excited to play on the island map it's um, it's been so long since since I've been back here so much has changed 
Um, the last time I was here was when they introduced the Redwood Biome. So there's been a lot of new dinos and a lot of stuff's changed. And with the recent update as well, um, they've changed the way that kibble works. So a lot of um, a lot a lot of differences have have come about since I was last here. I don't think I'm going to tame anything um, in this episode. Not even if something high level comes along. I just won't have the narcs, narca berries to do it. And it's just going to be a pain to shift it over to the next island. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few of the first dinos I need on Herbie Island anyway. Certainly an Ankly. Um, certainly an Ankly, uh, an Anki and a, a Dodic perhaps. I don't know. I think there's Ankies over there, but we can get um, some Stegos and Trikes. We can get, at least we can get our base sort of sorted. And moving forward as well, it, it is next to the ocean, so it's got it's got the resources there. It's got a little bit of metal to get me started. Um, it's got the water for my water dinos. Everything's close. I don't need to put any walls up really. Um, only some taming pens. So that's the, the plan to head into that direction. But the first task is getting some levels because we can't really craft very much until we hit that level sort of 30 ish mark. It's not until we get the, the, the craft invention, the forge set up that we start unlocking some of the saddles that we're going to need so yeah I hope to get some excitement for the series because it's definitely going to take me a little while to do it and some of the stuff I've done before I have defeated the brood mother the first spider but that was on a community server so we have done some stuff before I've never tried to do it um, solo so you know this is going to be um, quite a mission, quite the mission. Um, there's a lot of things I'm, I'm a little bit about, I'm a little bit, or am I going to be able to do? Because it's going to be, it's going to be hard, especially some of the caves. Oh dear. So I should really set up on the beach here if I'm building a craft, if I'm building a raft, but, um, I want to head over the back here to the edge of this clip anyway, for old time's sake, because it's where I used to have a base. And uh, yeah, it's been a long time. Many hours I've spent at the back of these rocks. <laughs> so. It's just a. Yeah, this is where I had the wall for the castle. And just between them two rocks up ahead, uh, you can fit um, a medium-sized dino door. So it's easy to block off. And it was the, uh, yeah, this is it coming out here. And so this is the ex first explorer note. Um, I won't pick that up just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather some resources together and we'll take complete advantage of the XP boost we'll get there. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, let's just get this campfire down. Get some uh, dodo on the go. And uh, let there be light. Uh, we don't need them. Okay, so we've managed to get uh, level 16. So I'm just gonna grab some meat out of these chests. I haven't built anything here, we just picked up these bits of a drop, but crafted some arrows and a bow, and I'm just gonna cook these steaks off while I save me some room. So those in there and we need some more resources um, we're gonna have to go and get I think it was 250 wood um, and we're gonna need fiber as well so we need everything need everything the 
XP boost we got from the note lasted for a bit and we crafted um, a few arrows and bow and a few extra hats that I chucked away as well just just to get the points for it so got quite a quite a boost because we've only got it on the rate set to times one so um, that's, that's not too bad the grind to level 16 wasn't too bad but, um, but we need some more thatch we're gonna need bows and arrows and yeah we're gonna have to get some more more wood but yeah, I'm doing too bad for the first night it's parasol so now there is another um, explorer note on the opposite island to this and I could swim across and get that but um, the, the fact that we've already got the craft we're already there um, I'll come back later and open that one up when I can fly over with a dino and and boost boost the levels a bit there. So, but yeah, yeah, just opposite there. But yeah, let's just uh, gather these resources and we'll get the uh, the raft built. Like I said, I'd rather have everything on the raft, all my bed and the forge and that, so we can move it rather than setting it up round here. Okay, so more fibre, and there we go, we've got enough wood. Um, yep. So I wonder how many uh, levels we get for crafting a, a raft. Might get a few because it's quite a bit. Well, not a few, but we might get one. And we can also craft some arrows, but it's, um, yeah, not doing too bad. A couple of ingrams to spare, but I haven't opened them up. Yep, we got a level. Um, oh, no, we got uh, two levels, so level eighteen. So yeah, just crafting the uh, the raft alone at level 16 gets you up to level 18. That's not bad. That's just on times one. So, um, but we're going to need some foundations down on this, and we're going to have to just. I'm just going to drop some stuff off. I can't. <laughs> I've just boosted two more in weight, but uh, I can't carry the thing. Be aware when you craft that, perhaps uh, craft it. You see, that's why it's good to have the chest down by the beach rather than the way I've done it, but fortunately we can carry it. I should imagine that would be quite a pain if you can't actually lift it up and you've pumped all your levels into health or something there, so that's why I pretty much primarily uh, pump weight on it's the first that I've got to go for because the first these first 20 levels are all about just gathering what you can with stone hatchets and just having to run back and forward but if we get this raft built um, and I've probably gathered enough um, to make a smithy in terms of metal but even if I was to craft it up there or um, I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't have enough left over to do a metal pick or a metal axe so we'll just wait until we get over to the next island yeah okay we're getting hot and we're dehydrated and we're hungry but yeah just get down here And so there we are. 
That's the raft. Okay, so we need to get some foundations down. It's just how many is it for a, how many wood for per foundation? Um, is it 80. So uh, let's just put one of those down first. I thought I ate some food. Okay. Um, yeah. As you can see, it's going to take a little while to gather enough wood to get just the foundations down, but let's just get one. Oh, not. Do we have any in storage? No, we need a few more. I thought we might have had a couple. There we go. Let's just grab some more anyway, we're going to need it. Thanks. If you want to, actually, rather than going into your inventory, like I think I'm just missing some flint. So if we, yeah, we do that and then just click it. It'll just repair it, rather than having to go into crafting and you know repair it. Okay, so let's put the first foundation down. Well, I want to try and get this perfectly centered because I need two either side of it. And um, in order to do that, best to get on the boat actually first and actually um, put this away. Okay. Well, I used to be able to. Okay, that's put me slightly off to that side. Just try it again. Um, no, I don't want to freehand it that way. Okay, well, we'll just use the mast as, and we'll eyeball it. It's only three. So. Yeah, I can get quite, you know, about how we place them. Yep. Yeah, we'll just get some more wood down. Be right back. Okay, so the SS complete the arc is ready to rock and roll. Um, I've got uh, a bed down and grabbed everything from up top there. So yep, let's make the maiden voyage and head towards Herbie Island. So now I know we can get knocked off the raft and stuff, but we're not going to go straight out to sea. We're just going to sort of hug the coastline and you know, see, see what we see on the way. Um, I was looking for, uh, there was a trike there, but I, I was almost tempted to tame him, but I think we, well, we're just going to find one on the next island and I could have probably got him on the raft, but if I get a knock or some, some creature or something, even if he's on passive, it, I don't know, it can just lead to problems. So let's just head over and see what's in the green drop. Probably nothing too useless, but you never know. You never know. Back to where we spawned in. And uh, this is why I didn't really bother putting a, a base up there, because I kind of like this mobile raft. It has, it has its uses. And I've got a lot of stone and wood and various materials already stocked up in a couple of them units there so it's just like the metal really that we need to be getting to okay what have you got for us oh no arrows, arrows and a parachute oh useful actually oh that was a good that's useful for me at the moment because just using up 16 narcs to make the arrows that's not quite enough to make, you know, take down a full dinosaur. Oh, yeah, which is sort of stole my berries. Okay, so, yep, let's uh, just continue out this way. 
remember rightly, I think you go in that direction, there's a the cave of the hunter is up that way somewhere. So I may even use this raft to come back that way when we do that first that possibly be the first cave we could do. But we're a little ways off that yet. Let's just get our base done. That's the thing about using mods, and I couldn't use Structures Plus, I couldn't get that one last wooden panel in front there. I didn't experiment with um, any pillars. Maybe I can do something. I'll see. But yeah, it's our little boat raft. Hopefully it makes the journey. We won't get knocked off by a shark. Okay, so here it is, Herbie Island. And um, this is where we want to get to. So, now pretty much safe, but like I say, every time I've played on a ARC server and it was the island map, this spot was always taken, so, you know, it's probably strategically not the best place to put ourselves for, you know, getting through this content really quick, but... I'm going to be able to build more than one base and this is going to be a good area so I could set up the farming area here definitely have the water pennies so I think this can definitely be a good main base area and purely and simply because I mean I love the way it looks on this island and I can pretty much have dinos running around as well I don't really I can build a sort of pen pen to keep some of them in perhaps over there but um, it's it's got a few positives and this little bit, can I go, I can't get around the back is it worth me even um, can I get around this way jump between here, no, start it's starting to rain um, oh no that'll take me forever to do it, yeah, no I won't do it that way, I'm, I need to get around the back here but at the back um, is a few metal nodes that we're safe to grab so that's going to get us our metal pick, our metal hatchet and a pike and yeah we'll be able to get our first tools which you know we're going to be, what is this? It's just looks strange, is it? Do you know, I vaguely remember this, is this still not fixed it? I think you kind of float in the air when you go over this rock. It's like a, an invisible sort of barrier or something it feels like, I don't know. I've got distracted. You can't resource that. Um, yes, yeah, so it's just up the top here. Um, we've got a few metal modes. Let's say this Stegos here, easy enough to tame up. Level 55. I might go for a trike instead of a Stego because, to be honest with you, I don't like the way the Stegos turn, but then they might be able to get more berries. I don't know. We can get one of we can get whatever we want. Okay, let's just get some metal and oh no. They haven't nerfed it, have they? Because Or is it because I'm just doing it with a I'm not getting any metal at all. Mm, ooh, excuse me. It's just uh Oh yeah, we are. We are. It's just because of the... Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I hope you enjoyed the first video for the channel. I hope it's the first of many. And um, that uh, we get... Uh, um, that you get engaged with the channel. And, you know, this. I, I hope that this is the start of a really good Let's Play. And I hope... Um, you're all on board with me because that'd be great It'd be great build our smithy and we can get our first just open this here there we go we can get what am I missing is it hide there we go so we're in business now and we'll go back we'll get a lot more metal for using the Hatch it on that metal node. Let's finally get rid of the stone stuff. So yeah, I think that's about all I've got time for in the first episode of Complete the Arc. 
Um, we've managed to get to level 31, and yeah, not not bad, not bad at all. And we've managed to make it to Herbie Island, and next episode definitely going to be some taming involved and I think building as well you know it's a lot to be done here but we can get our first little base area established and do some building so yeah I'm liking it as well and I just want to show how much we get now with the pick when we hit one of these nodes let's see the difference There we go. Straight away. Get some metal in the forge. It's taken me so long to get 30 metal before. And uh, now we can. So that's that's helped us. The fact that we've got these little it's not much metal here. It's not gonna it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be nowhere near enough, but it's gonna help us get these first saddles and Yeah. It's gonna help us get started. So, and I think, you know, basically because I'm on solo, once we tame an Anki, I just let him wander and gather the metal for us until he's overburdened, and then we'll just let a few Ankies out on the loose. They can roam sort of wild, and, um, yeah, just sort of hopefully gather some, you know, some more here. Looks like quite a rich one there. So, and just gather some more resources for us. So, no, I'll just go and put this in the forge and get that on the go. And, yeah. And please do let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the first episode for my channel. Um, and if you want to get get in there and, you know, be the first, say, yay, I was the, I was the first if I don't beat you to it. But, yeah, comments down below. Um, any Th any thoughts on what you think of the the playthrough and the idea or any of the um, boundaries that I've set. Love you to join and be along for the ride. I'm James and this is Complete Games and we'll see you in the next one.